What is good friends, we are back with game 2 between Blonde and ABR for Smog 2's playoffs. They're playing Sun and Moon. Oh, you're looking at the teams. ABR has used a pretty similar team like this before. Um, this time he has Megirna over Megalady. He might have also changed up the rules a bit. That team had Scarf Trend and Defensive Land. This team might have Scarf Land or and either Offensive Z-Move Trend or just Magma Trend with Leftovers. I'm um, thinking either the Trend or the Megirna is the Z-Move user on ABR side and the Land or the Scarf. Or, mm -hmm. And on Blonde's side... Uh, probably Z move Magina or Z move uh, Tapu Bulu. Scizor is only potential defogger, so I'm thinking that it's defog Scizor. Maybe I U turns out, so that makes me think that it's a Scarf Land though. Blunder probably went for Rocks or HP Ice here, so maybe I can now switch into Clefable or Ferrothorn. Both are completely fine. Um, that did 8, so it's probably um, some sort of offensive uh, Lando on Blunder's side, because defensive Lando would have taken less from U-turn, I think. So it's either Scarf and he lost a speed tie, or it's... Uh, Z-move is an option, but I don't think it's Z-move. I think it's some sort of offensive Lando that's either Scarf or I guess, some other offensive Lando like Earth Plate. But he goes for HPIs and he reveals to be Life Orb. Um, okay, it only does 14 because uh, Ferrothorn. Like, I know it's only bait 60 and Ferrothorn wants Spidef, so it makes sense. Ferro's gonna get up a spike here. And Blunder's gonna have to hard switch out because um, U turn, there's no point in U turning. I also don't think he has U turn. I think he's like maybe Sludge Wave on his Landris. But he has a Scissor and the Megina's for Bulu, so he doesn't have to be Sludge Wave. But since he's Life Up, that could be an option. Like some, some mixed attacking Landris. Off Quick, Stealth Rocks, HPIs. Uh, Huh. Could, there could be a few options, could be knockoff, could be sludge wave. I don't think he has u turn on life or blind. So he goes in the scissor. Not sure if he has knockoff or superpower. Um, but if I ABI here, I would always go to Toxapex. So I wouldn't risk a potential superpower. He goes hard heat turn here. Okay, that, that's risky. See, it does reveal it to be SD, which means Blunder has no formal hazard removal on his team. Because this is probably either SD, 2 attacks roost, or SD, 3 attacks all out attacking with superpower. The thing is, max speed heatron still outspeed scissor, so Blunder is forced out here. Blunder is most likely gonna go to Rotom here. Um, maybe I can either go for fire move, or he can predict the switch and go for rocks. If he gets this rocks here on a switch, it will put AB in a great position, because um, Blunder most likely has no hazard removal, because the scissor, yeah. This is the only potential form of hazard removal, and it showed SD. I'm thinking it's SD superpower, um, either Bug Bite, Bullet Punch in the other slots, or... Yeah, I'm thinking that, that's all our attacking scissor probably, but with Bug Bite and Bullet Punch that we haven't seen in a fat minute. So Rotom is most likely gonna Volt Switch here, the reason why you don't wanna Will Wisp is because Cofable has Magic Guard and is immune to, to burn, like residual damage. Uh, Clef or Pharaoh are coming out, but Clef makes more sense because, because of the potential of Will Wisp. Uh, Blunder can now go to either Coco or Bulu. But yeah, that kind of makes me think that his Magina is um, either the Flurken or the uh, Gigavolt Havoc on Blunder's team. Since this is a superpower, that's to um, to help him like, get rid of stuff like Ferrothorn, so I don't think it would be the focus by Magina. So I'm thinking that the Coco is either Specs or... Like, I'm not sure, like, Specs is like the most common at the moment, and I don't think it's Z-Move. Like, there's it's, like obviously some other options that, that are not Specs. But like, those sets haven't, been, haven't seen usage in a fat minute. Like, uh, Magnet has, hasn't has seen the usage in a minute. So I assume that, um, oh, ABR makes a fire play there. He went in Landris because it covers the Volt Switch and it covers the potential HP Fire. And I think that was HP Fire. I also think that's not Specs though, so it's either Magnet or Expert Belt or Wise Glasses, some sort of damage boosting item that's not Specs. And yeah, ABR can U-turn or Earthquake. Uh, Blunder predicts the, the U-turn here and I think Blunder is going to T-Bolt here, predicting um, ABR to go into like Heatran, predicting the, the HP Fire. So now, um, the HP Fire was quite obvious. But I don't think Blunder loses much from just going for HP Fire. The thing is, um, Coco doesn't have that many more switch to hazards. He T-Bolted trying to predict the Heatran and it didn't work, didn't work out there. So I guess he over-predicted. Now his Coco dies to hazards and he dazzling leaves. Um, yeah, so like Blunder just keeps trying to catch AB on the switch and we do <laughs> confirm it was a wise glass as well. Like that's the last one out of the three that I would have guessed out of Magnet and Expert build. So he goes in the Landris here, he's most likely just gonna off quake. And 
since this is Spadef, yeah, yeah, maybe I wanted to keep it, um, because the Megina might not have a fighting move, so Pharaohs might be important for Megina. And ABR can now just, uh, go for Scarf U-turn here, expecting Bana to go on a Rotom. But like Blunder has been, it hasn't been working out too well for Blunder. Like this, he can still win obviously because with ones like Megina, it's never over. Like ones like Megina can like win with like, like ABS team is like more bulky, right? So Megina can easily hack through with like um, crits or with paras or with freezes. Like it's never over when you have a Megina and the opponent has like a slower type of team. So he's now gonna go to Ferrothorn or Clef. I guess Megina is an option as well. Yeah, Megina is an option here for ABR because that would put some more offensive pressure. Since uh, Blana doesn't have good switch-ins. Since, uh, yeah, there's a spike, there's two spikes, a rock on his, rocks up on his side. So I guess you could go gear here and... If, if ABR has shift gear, that's also a big threat to Blunder's team. Like it could be, um, like Z Flurken, ABS gear. But yeah, on Blunder's side, I'm thinking that the Megina is uh, shift gear. Either shift gear 3 attacks or shift gear common 2 attacks. And then it's probably T Bolt, um, T Bolt Flurken. And then either Ice Beam or uh, what was the other potential move in the last slot? I forgot. I mean, I, HP Fire would be an option for Ferrothorn, but since he has superpower on Scizor, I don't think that he's, um, HP fire on Mac. So that was a quite interesting play by ABR because he knew that the Scissor would potentially have a, a superpower and he went from Ferris on the heat and that was all not going to talk to pegs there. But this gives him I guess a potential setup opportunity with Megina here. So if if he wants to set up Megina then then I get this play, but I would have gone to pegs there. He goes on the okay, he goes on the scarf land. I would just off quick here if I maybe I let me explain why. Even if Blunder switches out the Scizor, it comes in super low with all the hazards up. And Rotom also has Rotom has to take... I mean, yes, he can just U-turn because he has packs in the bag. So U-turn is a fine play as well, but I would have Earthquake there because... Like, Blunder's Scizor is not gonna do much more later in the game. Like, I guess it could have been extra fodder, so... I still would have Earthquake there. Stand by that. <laughs> so, as, as, as what Bl something Blunder would say, I stand by my play. He gets up a T-Spike here, Rotom is just gonna Volt out. I can see ABR even staying in if he's Spadef. I know he likes to carry um, Spadef on his packs. And uh, Blunder sees. Let's see if he comes back. And this is this could be the turn where he sets up with Megina. Um, no, no, it depends. Depends if, like, he might still have Focus Blast, but I don't know. He goes in the Lioness, okay. Yeah, yeah. Since like he's definitely not the Focus Blast. He could still have Focus Blast though on his gear. And he probably just off quakes again, not wanting to play around, yeah. And ABI keeps getting him going land on the on the off quake. He's probably just gonna U-turn out again. Even though um yeah, like he's playing I don't wanna say aggressive, but like a little bit. Like he's breaking a lot of switches. If you would call it aggressive, call it aggressive. And now the gear is in and the Rotom is obviously gonna die here. Um like it's gonna volt switch, but if ABI attacks the Rotom is gonna die. He didn't attack uh, he didn't uh, set up is what I'm trying to say. He obviously attacked. Blanda can now go to Landris. And Blanda's just gonna Earthquake again because you don't play around with a Magina. And Magina is faster, what? So Scarf Magina or Blanda didn't have speed? Nah, no, that's Scarf Magina, what? But the thing is, now he's at minus two and Blanda gets the setup opportunity that he wanted. Um, did it work? <laughs> this is wild. So he's gonna be able to shift gear up here, right? And he's gonna T bolt spam here. And ABR likes the death pack, so the thing is he can get crit or parrot. That did 45. Um so this is either this is either max Spadev packs or Blunder is packing modest gear, I'm not hundred percent sure. Um let me let me run a card real quick on the side on my phone. So Megina versus uh, Toxapex. Wait, so max damage, max damage would have been like 43. Um, so he shift gears on the switch. 
And ABI is gonna go back now scouting for the Focus Blast, which is understandable. So this Focus Blast will probably not Z Focus Blast. Oh, he didn't want to waste the Z. Now ABI is gonna just recover here on the... Oh, no, 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 he, he switched. The reason why he switched into Ferrosaur on the gear is because he scouted for Gigavolt Havoc, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, this Megina has modest confirmed confirm that I just run the, run the Calc on my phone. It does like 43... Um, 43.8 or something max to... to um, if it's timid, to split that Ferro. Uh, to split that Pex, my bad. So he's just, he's just gonna spam T-Bolt here. And eventually he's gonna get a crit or a para. Um, we got we all know how this works because like Blunder has been in the same scenario as well in OT, where his opponent like hacks the crap out of him with a the gear. There's the para, no full para though. But yeah, now um eventually full para is gonna happen. Blunder most likely does not have calm mind because if he had calm mind he would have gone for it by now. So I'm thinking he's most likely shift these three attacks. T bolt focus blast is what he showed us, and the last move is probably floor cannon. So if he's modest, that means he has to shift gear up again. Um. To outspeed the Scarf Lando on ABR's part. Um, but at this point, yeah, okay, that's why he shift gear again now. I thought he would just spam T bolt for now. I thought he would shift gear up later. But there's the peril. So this this Megina might just win for Blunder, but the, with like the unfortunate hex. Ooh, with it Gigavolt Havoc. That was played that was played um amazing. Like amazing plays by Blunder. Not going for the Gigavolt Havoc earlier because Blund ABR scouted for it earlier, but going to Ferrothorn. Um I can respect that. So if ABI has command, he can potentially put in work here. Not sure, but if he has command, he should have gone for it there. Um, but not only if he has Lurkan, he's not going for it because he wants to get a special attack up. That's why he's just T bone. That's the crit. That the game might just end here. Wow, he has command. So if he didn't get crit there, ABI still had a shot. Um, he might have still been in range from Lurkan, but Blunder would have had the lower special attack. I mean. That's how it works. Like this is one of the reasons why I think Magina is stupid. It's kind of like Metagross, where if you like, if you try to check it defensively, it's either gonna para or crit or freeze you. Like in this case, he didn't have Ice Beam, so not, he wasn't freezing. But like, he also does connect his Focus Blast. ABS last hope there was dodging, getting the lead sheet off, getting recovery up, and the game just ends now. If um, Blunder can connect his moves here and he has to yeah, yeah he has to flur can because you don't want to risk missing focus blast and he's still at plus one and now he's gonna focus blast no, no just evil yeah just evil because the trade chaos what am i saying for some reason i thought evil doesn't trade kill because i was av i thought he was av for a second but he's obviously scarfed that was already confirmed yeah that's like a that's like only a set that you get that you use to catch to surprise to throw your opponent off guard, like to have that surprise factor. But yeah, Blunder 2 old ABR with some unfortunate hacks, and he's now in Smog to semifinals. Blunder does not have a trophy yet. You, if you know, if you watch Blunder, you notice know he is coming for the trophy. Um, yeah, I really wanted to see a game three. I feel like ABR should have won this game without hacks. But what can you do? It's Mons. It happens if you're on the defensive side. You get attacked multiple times. You will eventually get crit or parrot. But thank you guys for watching, it was a cool series, I'll be back later with more smoke truth or some old tea, not sure yet. And yeah, have a fantastic day, smash that like button and peace out friends.